Hey, what's up? This is Harry Wagner here for The Dirt by Four Wheel Parts, and we're gonna drive Ford's new Bronco. This isn't the baby Bronco you've seen, the Bronco Sport. This is the real deal. This one has the Sasquatch package with 35 inch tires, lockers, rock rails, and everything you need to get you started off road. Third generation racer, Shelby Hall, is gonna take us out in this Bronco and put it through its paces. So the bumps are getting bigger, but you're not really slowing down, which doesn't surprise me for some of the races in Baja. Uh, really impressed with the ride quality in this. Wow, all right. Shelby's so not just, messing around. Now I know why they they sent us out with a professional. So I just switched it from normal mode to Baja mode. Okay, and what does that do? So Baja mode is going to change the shift schedule. It's going to give you more feedback in the steering wheel. If you want to be in Baja mode, obviously that's going to be for going faster in the desert. There's rock crawl mode. So, and, and for instance, something like sand or snow, which is a low traction environment, you don't want a ton of tire speed because you'll just sink, right? Right. Where in Baja mode, maybe you want to hang the rear end out or you want that wheel speed in order to maintain momentum. Right. And we're kind of getting into more sandy terrain here. I know we're coming up to that big sand hill now, so probably an opportunity to test something different out. So I actually think this is personally like the coolest feature because I'd never experienced this before okay. I had been in this. So it has a turning assist. Okay. So we're just gonna turn it on, super easy, and it's gonna lock one side. So that we can turn super sharp. Oh wow. So it's like having cutting brakes on a buggy. Yes. That is very cool. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into sand mode. We're gonna climb up this. It's getting pretty chewed up, so let's hope for the best. And then you just turned on the rear locker? Is that this illuminated? So here? what I did was I put it into sand mode. Okay. Which everything is through this dial. Gotcha. And so it automatically put it into four high and locked the rear. Okay, can you lock the front independently of the rear? Can you leave the rear unlocked and lock the front? Yes. Because that's a feature on other, you know, there's not a lot of things on the market with locking differentials, yes. but typically you can't do that. And I find it super handy for situations like what you just did. You know, the, the rear when it's locked wants to push you straight. And if you can lock the front, you can still turn the tires yep. and sort of go different directions. Cool. All right, let's. All right, let's do, do it. trail control so it's just like cruise control but to keep you at a lower speed you just push this middle button to activate it so I'm gonna give it a little bit of throttle to get it started and now it's going and it'll hold so your feet aren't on the pedals now no. and this is super steep super loose kind of sandy rocky and then you can set and change your speed as you are still moving so now we can go a little faster so I'm just pushed it up to nine miles an hour Super easy, again, you can just change it on the fly. We don't need it anymore. So I'll press the trail assist button again, and we're on our way. And don't have to stop and put it in neutral or anything like that. You just do it on the fly. On the fly. So now I am gonna put it into neutral because we are gonna go from high gear to low. Okay. And I wanna go into rock crawl mode. So it's telling me four by four shift in progress. Now it's ready to go. You can see what it has done. So this first spot is the stay bar and you can connect it and disengage it. Okay, and I find that super helpful. It allows the suspension to work well at high or low speeds off road. Yes. And there is a big difference, you know, between going 10 miles an hour and going 25 miles an hour. Sure. So being able to just have the option. Now this looks pretty rutted and rough here. Front camera really coming in handy. I was gonna say, I'm glad to have that coming over this ride. Lifting a tire there, but super stable. Super stable. So I'm gonna go back into Baja mode. So because we went from low range to high range, mm -hmm. I wanna have it in neutral. And ready to go fast. Alright. It really does hold those gears before yeah. it shifts, huh? You can really hear it. That wraps up our first ride in the Ford Bronco. 
While some people lament that this didn't come with a solid front axle, I have to say I was really impressed with how well it worked in all the terrain we went through. But what really impressed me was how comfortable the seats were, how quiet and comfortable it is inside. You don't really make very many compromises if you buy a Ford Bronco. For more information, head over to The Dirt by Ford WP.